initially it was difficult to understand the cell phone test. But as I kept reading books, I started understanding it. And I, I tried spending time like that. Then my wife was not able to understand that. Then I, I spent enough time with her to make her also understand. Now we are at a stage where uh, we spend time at home. Uh, a lot of time we spend uh, in observing our mind. Uh, and we discuss a lot about this. Uh, the entire lifestyle around us has been changed. Uh, we don't get into escapes easily. We don't get into entertainments and things like that, which we see that is causing some kind of suffering. As, as I keep observing, right, initially uh, when I sit alone, uh, I get, uh, I feel like getting into a TV or something at some point. Uh, as I kept observing, I started dropping them. But now, now I am spending more time observing my mind and spending more time with books, with your videos. But sometimes I wonder whether is this also an escape? Uh, that kind of wonder comes sometimes. Uh, but I see uh, when I spend time more like this, uh, there is a quality of life in doing. Uh, I see my decisions are taken in a better way. Whether uh, the way I am observing is, is, is that the right way or am I, am I still doing something wrong? Another question is, uh, as a married couple, uh, there is aloneness in our relationship though we are together. So is it, uh, do you see that aloneness should be, I mean, can it happen between a couple? Uh, is that, uh, is that something I am perceiving right or is there something I am not A movement into oneself. brings about a lot of new things. That which used to frighten you does not appear so very frightening. That which would easily disturb you appears a bit childish now. The tendency to lose equilibrium gets reduced. You do not easily go off center, and even if you do, you return comparatively sooner. An urge to explore new things arises. And there are changes of many, many kinds. Sometimes even the language changes. Sometimes even before you can realize that there is a change, outsiders begin telling you you have changed. These changes are all there and as you soak in those changes, as you revel in those changes, your appetite to have more of them further increases. So that's all very auspicious, very good. Regarding a couple practicing aloneness. The fact that the two of you are married comes later. First of all, the two of you are human beings. Two human beings, both with an urge towards the truth and both with a right over the truth. It is just incidental that these two are married. But if the two persons who are in this social arrangement of marriage are also
spiritual friends then they rise above the social arrangement the social arrangement by itself is a recipe for disaster but when the social arrangement is purified consecrated by the spiritual touch then the poison in it is neutralized in fact there is only one antidote to the poison called marriage and that is a spiritual association between the man and the woman now that the two of you are together and you probably also have kids and there are various physical and social and economic circumstances that are too heavy on you and you have to be together then the only and the best way of togetherness is spiritual togetherness spiritual togetherness would not only take the poison out of the marriage but actually turn the marriage into something immensely beautiful hmm? marriages are socially not designed to be beautiful the way the very institution is defined it's a crazy thing but you can still not only correct that mistake but actually turn it into an advantage which by the way also means that you don't have to run away from your husband or your wife necessarily don't try that hmm whatever might have been the situation but you did hold somebody's hand and you made certain promises and then you went on to have kids as well now it is irresponsible to just abruptly quit if the two of you could be together in your tussles fights hmm if the two of you could together shout and scratch and 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 bite and tear and break and if all those things could be done together why not meditate and be loving and compassionate together or is companionship only for biting into each other hmm so having been companions now it is your responsibility to help and guide and accompany the other towards light as well otherwise it's a very strange thing you are saying as long as we were in the dark we were companions and now that there is light i shall be alone that's a that's a bit inhuman